In the past, I have covered several different ways to connect your Android smartphone to your Windows PC, ways to integrate them together, ways to have cross-device copy and paste. You copy text on your computer, you now have it to be pasted on your phone. Very, very useful stuff. The Phone Link app is pretty good. It's got some cool features, but today we're going to take a look at another application, one that I actually first found on my Steam Deck, which is back here, and I actually thought it was only a Linux thing, but I just recently found out there is a Microsoft Windows app that works really, really well. What are we talking about? We're talking about something called KDE Connect. And it is an application you install on your phone and on your computer. And once you've done that, it does all manner of really, really useful stuff like, most importantly for me, copy and paste syncing. So as you see here on their website, files and links shared between devices, phone notifications, customizable commands. We're gonna go through a lot of this stuff. Let's go to the download page. The, by the way, link is in the description so you can follow along with this stuff. For Android, it's in the Google Play Store as well as other places. For Windows, you can go directly to the Microsoft Store and you can install it from there. It's really, really simple to get up and running. On your smartphone of choice, once you've loaded up the app, you're going to allow notifications. And you can see here, since I've already got the app running on my Windows computer, it sees my computer already. So we're just going to click on that and request pairing. Back on your computer, you should get a pairing request. You can simply hit accept. And that part is already done. Now back on your phone, you can go through and you can give it these permissions kind of piecemeal. If there's something that you don't think you're going to use, you don't have to grant it. But if you do think you're gonna use it, like sending SMS, you can click on that and then give it that permission one step at a time. I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of these and just give it permission across the board. And now we're pretty much up and running. So from there, what can you now do with this application? Well, let me show you. Let's go back to our picture in picture mode. And I'm just gonna highlight some text here on my website. And I'm going to hit Control C right now. And there it is, it is copied on my smartphone. I can now paste that on my smartphone very, 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 very quick and works really well. I also wanna point out that you're gonna get this persistent notification up here. And if you don't want that, you can simply long press on it and hit turn off notifications and then turn off the persistent indicator and that'll be gone as well. Bit of a mild annoyance for me, but very easy to rectify. Now, if you wanna copy and paste in the other direction, it's a little bit more difficult on your phone. What you're gonna do is copy the text you want to send and then open up the KDE Connect app or I believe there's an option in the persistent notification if you do decide to leave that on. But there's an option that just says send clipboard. If you click on that, the clipboard should be sent and you should be able to paste that text now on your computer. I do wish you could copy and paste images, but at least as far as I can tell, I don't think that that actually does work. So what else can this application do besides copying text from your computer to your phone? Let's jump back over here again and we'll walk through some of this stuff that we have here. So multimedia control, what I'm gonna do now is on my phone, I'm gonna open up YouTube Music and I'm just gonna play something. And you can see now that we have our controls here. And if you have multiple different things playing, you can actually go through them and change between each one here. Play, pause, skip, you can scrub through the track, you can change the volume all from your computer. Remote input is actually a pretty strange one because what's gonna happen here is if I click anywhere in this area and drag my cursor, I'm clicking and dragging, I'm actually going to be controlling a cursor on my smartphone. Hopefully this is something you can see. Do you see that cursor moving around? I'm doing that with my computer. I'm not entirely sure how useful this would be, but maybe you've got your phone sitting next to you in a dock or something like that, and you don't want to reach out and use it. You have this on your other screen. It's a tablet, maybe even. You can very quickly use your same mouse to then control your smartphone, potentially kind of useful. You have a presentation mode, which I can't imagine I'm ever going to use, but it is there. There's a find device option that when I click on it, my phone's going to start playing a, a tone, a song to help me locate where it is. And then you have the share file option. If I click on this, I'm able to grab a file like this one and let's just send it straight to my phone. And you can probably see this up there in the corner. It is downloading and it is downloaded. It's done. I've received that file through KDE Connect and I can do the same thing in reverse, I can send files from the phone to the computer as well. Now the next set of things you can do are found down here in the persistent notification. You can see several different things going on here like LTE, signal strength, browse device, ring device. Some of these things, I'm gonna to admit to you, 
don't really work for me. I've not been able to get them to work. Like get a photo, opens up the camera, you take a picture of the check mark. I don't know where that photo is going, what is going on there. Browse device doesn't seem to do anything for me either. Again, I don't know why that is, but some things that do work are things like SMS messages. Let's click on that. And what we have here are all the text messages on my phone. I can read them, I can type in a new one, I can respond to things, and all of that actually works really well. Now, if you do use RCS, that's not a thing. It's going to send through SMS, but still fairly useful. Another thing I want to demonstrate is this right here. Notifications from your phone will appear on your computer as well. So if you get a text message or you're playing music, things like this, it will pop up right there in your view on your computer. Now that's usually pretty good, but there are some negatives to it. If you have a pixel, for instance, this is a problem I've encountered. You might be music playing around you and it recognizes that song. You're going to get a notification on your computer of what that song was. And that can be a little bit annoying. The result can be, you might look down and you've got 15 notifications on Windows telling you each song that it heard over the last few minutes. Potentially even when you're in another room, that can be a little bit annoying, but maybe it's still worth having turned on. The good news is you can turn it off if you don't like it. So there you go, guys. It's a bit of a rough around the edge app in some different ways. It doesn't necessarily look the best, but if what you're looking for is moving the text copy and pasting back and forth, it's pretty lightweight, doesn't seem to be hurting my battery life at all, and does that job extremely well. Might be something worth checking out. I'm going to drop, like I said, the link in the description down below. So go check that out. Let me know what you think about this app. Do you have a better alternative? I've tried some of the things like an extension in Chrome called Clipped which worked relatively well also. But let me know if you found anything better that does work on every phone, unlike Microsoft's phone link application. Guys, I'll see you on the next one. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.